what's going on everybody welcome to my channel track the trailer enthusiast what's up what's up it's a beautiful morning and I got something to show you guys uh, maybe you're gonna love this check this out right no like I haven't put I made it like a couple days ago so today what I want to do to my second gen Dodge Ram 2500 Magnum V8 what I want to do today I want to start doing some some rust prevention I, I want to start taking off some of the surface rust that is under um, the undercarriage of the truck and it's not gonna be that hard maybe maybe not rust prevention today maybe just start with the brushing process because you know I don't have some of the tools like some guys do man I'm going basic and when I say basic I mean I'm going completely basic on this baby like as basic as I can get near and short is I don't have a lot of tools per se right now I do got some tools but you know what's gonna happen is I'm gonna use a wire brush I'm gonna use a wire brush to start taking off some of the rust the surface rust that is on the undercarriage of this thing let's go this is what we're gonna be using wire brush let me see your wire brush do levar bring it over here it looks more cleaner it's the same thing yeah but you got you like got you got the freaking um copper i think i got iron you know or steel <laughs> we get underneath this boy and we're gonna start some surface rust cleaning so there i'm gonna use these brush the steel brush to just take my time and go through it and as I go through it, we're going to do all of this and then we're going to spray them. That's what it, I'm going to show you guys what the finished product look like. The paint is uh, it's not that faded. I think what happened is it could take some buffering off and shit like that. You know, temporarily until I can afford to give it a, a paint job. But I feel like if I really buffer this truck, if I do some buffering, this truck would really... Um, the color would start popping back again. It's black, so you know it doesn't need much. I buffer off the freaking clear coat. That's one thing that I've I've thought about. And for the the undercarriage, as we can see, I mean, there's some rust, as I said, but it's not it's not deep rust. I don't know if it's showing properly on the camera, but it's relatively nice underneath here. You know what I mean? There's literally no deep rust. There's nothing rotting in out or anything like that. Well, I don't know who had this truck before, but they seem to take care of it and they had, um, probably loved it at one point. So that's the rear of the truck. This is the front wheel well um, on the right side. And as you can see again, there's just surface rust, you know? Like nothing rotten out. There's nothing rotten. You can see um pitman arm and and uh drive links and shit there's literally nothing rusting out under there you know what i mean damn no deep rust it's just literally surface rust i don't find nothing rotting in out as i said before you know so what i'm gonna do today what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna do some surface rust cleaning this one now is the right wheel well still no rust per se you know this side is really nice so there's no corner rust on anything when you look at the back wheel well is the same thing so it's all the same thing all around you know what i mean all the same thing all around look at the look at that metal or clean that metal look too so we look at the inside of this bad boy and so far it's nice and clean inside of this truck and um i'm loving it i'm really loving it check it out the dashboard i was doing some cleaning that's some awesome that i purchased at the dollar store i was doing some cleaning you know but it's nothing heavy so far it's nothing heavy the floor mats though oh my god those floor mats definitely need to go yeah those floor mats definitely need to go and um 
planning on getting that done as a part of the project. The roof end, uh, well, got to do some roof work. It's easy. This is just cloth. You know what I mean? It's easy. You take the whole board down and you get it done. It's easy. That's going to look nice too. I might put leather up there. Now, let's check out the freaking engine bay. This is going to be fun. So this is what a freaking V8 Magnum looks like. Yeah. It's not the best looking engine, but shit. Can take some cleaning up. I realize I checked out the whole engine. It starts perfectly. But what I noticed, there's no oil leak. You know, just the regular Dutch oil leak where the, um, the engine heads um, normally tend to get sweat around these, this part where the cam is and shit. And that's fine. I don't worry about that. That'll be something that I'll, I'll just do in my spare time. I might need to change this pulley though. It does run messed up. You want to start it, Levar? By the way, that's my son, Levar. My little troublemaker. What's up, man? Say hi to everybody. Hi. Okay. So listen, go start her up and see what's going on, Levar. So guys, we're going to listen to this baby start up. Start it up, Levar. Oh, yeah. Listen to that roar, man. And she roars, man, damn. Sounds good. It runs so smooth. And you can you can literally hear, you can literally hear that pulley right there. Look at it, look at that pulley dancing. Look at that pulley. That baby is on fire, she dancing. <laughs> so you know we gotta get rid of that pulley, right? So that's it. For our second Dutch, um, second gen Dutch Ram 2500 Magnum. Levar, say what's up to everybody. Tell them bye bye. Next bye. video, we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing the full project.